In this video, I'll show you how to make this simple arrow hover effect in Adobe XD. The first part is to have your landing page design set. I've already designed one for this tutorial. Select all three elements, the text, the underline, and the arrow, and press Command K or right click and choose Make Component. In the top right hand corner under Component, press the plus sign to create a new component state. Choose Hover State. With the default state selected, we want to change the opacity of the line to 0% because we only want it to appear when we hover over it. Then choose Hover State and change the opacity of the line back to 100%. Also extend the arrow so it grows in length when you hover over it. A quick note when editing component states is you'll need to double click on the elements. Think of them as a group and in order to access the line or the arrow, you'll have to double click into the group to be able to change anything. Toggle between the default and hover state to make sure the interaction looks as you intend it to. Then switch from design to prototype mode. You'll notice there's a plus sign and a line next to the component we just created. The lightning icon shows you that it's connected to a hover state. On the right hand side, we can make adjustments to this action. We want to keep the trigger at hover and the action type as auto animate with the destination of hover state. You might want to play around with the easing and duration just so you know how they work. When you're ready, press the play button to preview the prototype. And that's how simple it is to prototype this simple interaction in Adobe XD. If you found this tutorial helpful, please give it a like, subscribe, and leave a comment below to let me know what you think. I'll also leave links to a few other Adobe XD tutorials below. 